What's up guys, welcome back to Hacksplain. Right now we are having a super fun challenge. And this is actually an XSS one, which is called the Client Side XSS Protection Challenge. And the ChipShop application wants us to perform a persistent XSS attack with that payload over here, which is an iframe in which we load a JavaScript alert box which displays XSS. And this additional hint over here is pretty interesting. It says bypass a client side security mechanism. So this is important. It's not just any spot in this in this web app where we could fill this in and get an XSS. It's one where we have to bypass a client side security mechanism. And I will show you what that is in just a second. So Let's, for example, um, go to, actually, before we go in there, I'm going to copy this payload because we're going to use that. Um, let's go off doing that to the customer feedback. And if you look over here, there is a comment box, which looks pretty promising if, if you ask me. So the idea here would be to fire in that. Uh, payload and fill it out. What is 10 plus 7 minus 4? That is uh, uh, hard questions over here. That's 13. And you can submit that, right? So this has been sent to somewhere. Um, we actually don't know at this point, but it doesn't really matter. So the question right now is Was there any client side security control that you've seen? And the answer to that is no, because we were just able to put down our comment in here and we sent it to the server and now it's somewhere over there. We don't really know at this point, but we haven't seen a client side security control. So we got to think what is there at OS2 shop where we are not allowed to do something and clicking around. We have the custom feedback about us page and so on and so on. We have the account page over here. There is the login. There is uh, email, password. I can basically do whatever I want. No security controls over here. So let's click on not yet a customer. Don't want to save that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Hey, look at that. Email address is not valid. So that is a security control because it is not allowing me to enter my, my string right now, which says ASF, ASDF, ASD. So this might be an option. Um, all the other fields in here, well, they don't really say anything that wouldn't allow us to fill in a certain string. Okay, so let's try to play around with that string. And in order to fulfill this requirement of the client side control, we have to fill in an email address. So we're going to say, test at hacksplain.com uh, hacksplain and password, uh, notice, birthday, ASDF, all that is fine. Let's just remind ourselves that we need burp being turned on. So I'm, I'm using my foxy proxy over here, which is connecting me to my burp. And I do have my intercept tab turned off. So I don't really want to intercepted right now so let's let's leave it where it is and let's click on register and we see that that actually worked out right so let's go back to burp and see how this request looks like and if we make this a little bigger we can see that we were sending an email address a password security question and so on and it did not allow us to use anything different than an email address in here. But what if we skip this client side control right now? What if we use burp to get rid of or circumvent that control and send something else to the web app? Let's try that. So we're going to use the user registration form. Once again, we are going to say test at hacksplain.com. ASDF, 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 
Security question, doesn't really matter. Let's use um, my mother's maiden name is also ASDF. And before we're clicking on register, now we have to make sure to turn on our interceptor. And we click on register and we see burp lighting up. So in here, we could try to circumvent that control right now by just getting rid of that little string over here and fill in the payload from before. So what we are seeing right now is that there is a different color coding. We have some green stuff over here and some black stuff over here. That doesn't look right. So what is the issue? We're having those apostrophes right here, which is uh, that one, which is actually closing the string and we have to fix this first. So let's uh, make this uh, a single quote. A single quote over here. Let's make uh, that stuff also a single quote. And right now the string, the payload should be fine. Let's check one more time. Everything is green. That looks fine. All right. So let's forward this to to shop. Um, let's forward it as well. Turn off intercept. And it tells me down below that registration completed successfully. You can now log in. So let's go back to HTTP history. And this is our request. And you see over here that the original request was test at hexplained. And in our intercepting tab, we changed it to iframe source JavaScript LXSS, right? And then looking at the response, we see success in the status. So that means we do have created a user right now with the email address set to our malicious payload. So now the question is, where do we see the email address? And I know from a previous challenge, if you guys have been going through all my videos so far, you should know as well that there is an administrator portal where the administrator can see all the users. And we're going to check that right now. We're actually going to the login page and use a another vulnerability that we already know from a previous video, which is the SQL injection one to log in as admin. So we say um, single quote or one equals one minus minus, and we are going to log in. So now we are logged in as the admin. If you're confused right now, I'm going to link the video for this challenge in the top right corner. So let's go to the administration portal right now. And I already have that sitting in my list of URLs. And we see access as popping up right in here. I will close that for now. And if we have a look why this happened, we can see that, oh, let me get rid of that. We can see that we do have our iframe right in here, the red box down below. And if you open up the browser, the developer tools by hitting F12, you can use the inspector to actually check out what we have over here. So let's scroll down one more time and let's click on that document. Let's click on that iframe. And we do see right over here, the iframe is set to source JavaScript alert access as. Yeah, this is it. This is why this was working out. And I still haven't seen the green box, which would acknowledge that we've solved the challenge. So let's go back to a scoreboard. And we actually don't see that we have solved it, which is pretty interesting. So we gotta think right now, is there something that we have missed? And I actually do have an idea right now, because if we remind ourselves of the payload that we were using, we were changing the apostrophe character over here and over here to a single quote. So let's try if we can actually solve the challenge by doing something differently. I go back to the this request over here, which we have used to change the email. And we have put down 
our single quotes over here. So let's try something. Let's send this to verb repeater. And instead of exchanging the apostrophes with a single quote, I'm going to use the apostrophes one more time. And now we do see our issue again that those are not escaped. So let's try to escape them with a backslash, which is how you usually would escape an apostrophe character in string. So let's send this to a WhatsApp to shop. And we do see that also this user got created and we do get the success message. So oh, actually I see it lighting up already. Now we do have the green box over here saying you successfully solved the challenge client side access has protection and if we reload this page right now we should see also the solve string over here all right this was it for today remember that hacking old shoe shop apparently really needs you to use the payload in the exact same way that you find it over here and apart from that subscribe in the top right corner keep watching all the other videos, leave me a comment, leave me some feedback, and see you again soon.